Welcome to this video, which is an introduction to rational expressions. After watching this video, you should be able to answer the question, what is zero divided by any number except zero? And what is any number divided by zero without the help of a calculator? You should be able to define rational expressions and state whether an expression is or is not a rational expression. Lastly, you should be able to find the restricted values of a rational expression. Let's start with a quick pop quiz. What is zero divided by one? And what is one divided by zero? Pause this video, jot down your answers with or without the use of a calculator, and then unpause this video to see if you are correct. Let's start with zero over one. Zero divided by one is zero. In general, zero divided by any number, except zero itself, is zero. Zero divided by zero, however, is undefined. If you don't believe me, see if what happens when you type zero divided by zero on your calculator. Likewise, one divided by zero is also undefined. In fact, any number divided by zero, including zero itself, is undefined. Again, take a moment to type this into your calculator. Your calculator may say something like error. This is calculator speak for undefined. So why do we care so much about undefined values? Why did I start the video, instead of talking about rational expressions, talking about dividing by zero? Well, the reason is simply that whenever you work with rational expressions, which is the topic of this video, you have to restrict the domain, the set of all x values of the function, so that your function is never undefined. So you need to remember that if you try to divide by zero, this causes an expression to be undefined. If it doesn't make sense yet, don't worry. We're going to really dive deep into this topic, and by the end of the video, it should make sense. So let's start with the topic at hand. What is a rational expression? Well, the word rational comes from the word ratio. And remember, ratio is just a fancy, fancy word for fraction. So we can expect rational expressions to be ratios or fractions. Unlike the fractions you learned back in elementary school, rational expressions may contain variables, not just numbers in the denominator. So the textbook defines a rational expression as a quotient, quotient implying division, of polynomials. So here are some examples. So the first example is x squared minus x minus 12 quantity divided by x squared minus 9x plus 20. Notice there are variables in both the numerator and the denominator. If we have 3 divided by the quantity x minus 2, that is also a rational expression. Then we have a minus b, quantity divided by b minus a. Again, there are variables in the denominator. And 3 halves. Notice 3 halves is different from the other expressions because it does not have any variables in the denominator. Despite that, it is still considered a rational expression because three is technically a polynomial, and two is technically a polynomial, and they are quotients. There's a quotient there. They're being divided. Let's look at these two graphs and see how they are different. On the left, we have a very simple linear graph, y equals x, which you've learned about in past math classes, and you should even know how to graph uh, y equals x. On the right-hand side, we have y equals 1 over x, which is the graph of a rational function. So take a minute, pause the video, and write down a few of your observations to say how are they the same and how are they different. OK, so let's talk about this. On the right-hand side, we can see for the graph of 1 over x, something really interesting happens when we try to let this x value approach 0. As we approach from the left-hand side, we can see that our y values approach negative infinity. As we approach zero from the right-hand side, we can see that our y values approach positive infinity. However, in uh, our graphical world, these are what are called vertical asymptotes. There is a vertical asymptote at the function x equals zero. So that means that we can get arbitrarily close to the value x equals zero, but we never actually get there. So this is a graphical expression or interpretation of the fact that the function is undefined at x 
equals zero. Now, in this particular chapter, we might not get into um, graphing rational functions, and that's okay, but I just want you to see that even if you did graph a rational function, you can see visually, graphically, that um, the function is undefined at x equals zero. Let's talk about excluded values of rational functions. In general, the denominator of a rational expression cannot be equal to zero. Values that cause us to divide by zero are called the excluded values, restricted values, or domain restrictions. To find the excluded or restricted values of a rational expression, we set the denominator to not equal to zero, meaning not equal to zero, and solve. Any value that causes the denominator to equal zero is an excluded or restricted value. 